Hey everybody, this is Justin Roner. So it's Tasty Tuesday again, and it's hot. It's 105, 110. We're in the summertime here in Arizona, and a lot of people are asking, where you know is citrus still in season right now? And the answer is yes, but you got to be a little careful on how you pick them, which ones you're going after. So this is a Valencia orange tree, and you can see we've got a lot of different levels. We got some oranges that are forming for next year's crop. You can see a little bit of yellowing. This is actually sunburn, so this is a little excessive heat that you can kind of see on these leaves here. And we're not going to shade these because this is part of the shading, the protective mechanism. It's kind of the, the insulator for the tree. I can add a little bit more iron to my tree right now to help green those up without burning them. Um, some chicken manure and stuff. I mean, if you haven't already done a feeding on Memorial Day, now's a good time to do it. Otherwise, just wait until we're coming up to July 4th. 4th of July is another great time to be feeding your trees, especially your citrus with a lot of good nitrogen. We love to use a good organic nitrogens like with our chicken manures and using some of that stuff. Foliar feeding is also good. So if you come around here, I'll show you the oranges that are still good on the Valencia. So you'll see these guys here. They're still nice and orange, still plump, still firm, and they're not rotting out. So if I show you some of these other guys, these guys, we got to get off the tree. If you're afraid of roof rats, this is the stuff they really love to go after. And so we want to get the old stuff, the dead stuff off. These guys are squishy, a little uh, brownish. These guys definitely want to come off. But these guys right here, these guys are still good. And most of these are actually hanging around in the shadiest part of the tree. And so that's where you're going to find some good Valencia oranges. I'm going to pop these guys off, show you how we like to take care of them. There's another interesting thing that happens this time of year. It's called regreening. A lot of the Valencias start to do that as well. They'll do that before they turn brown, is they'll start to turn green again. And if they're turning green again, that's okay. They're still good, but they're on their way out. So if they're starting to turn green, nice and plump, make sure to pick them, put them in the fridge. I'll show you kind of how we like to take care of those guys. Ooh, bad guys. So we'll get rid of these guys and watch out for your blackberry patch. So regreening. So here's another example of kind of the what happens when it starts to regreen. It literally starts turning green again. And it's not necessarily bad. It just means that it's getting that old and it kind of starts shifting back to starting to pick up chlorophyll again. So with all these oranges, we like to eat them fresh off the tree. So just like the ones I got here, easy way to peel them. They're usually a little bit softer skinned. Their skins are pretty thick for the Valencia orange. I like to pop off the top and then try to do it all in one peel. I didn't do a very good job on that one, but just sliding your thumb around the underside of it gives you a nice peeled peeled orange. And then you'll see that I peeled most of it just with one hand and that helps ensure that as I'm opening up the orange, I open it with my other hand so that I don't get that weird bitter flavor when I'm trying to eat my orange peels, my orange slices. Nice and juicy, really good deep flavor. Love these things. My favorite way to eat them though, is to stick them in the fridge like this, slice them up, and get them nice and cold. These seeds will not likely regrow, so I just throw them in my garden. Yeah, you can see how nice and crisp that is. This is a Valencia orange. We put them in the fridge a couple days ago. And now they're wonderful. I love the flavor of them. There are a little bit of seeds, obviously, in your Valencias, but it's a great time to have them. Great time to also be eating these just before 4th of July. When you're eating a lot of crazy foods and stuff like that, you can actually get a summer cold. So to alleviate the summer cold, get your citrus on you right now. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.